Call of Butte works here. Happy Easter, everybody. If you celebrate it, of course. So for Easter, let's talk about our favorite rabbit named Carrot. As you know, at the end of Wano, it is implied in the manga and stated in the anime that Carrot went back to Zo. Now, I already did a video about this a while ago. However, some time has passed, some things have come out, and I just wanted to revisit the topic. So, as you know now, currently in the manga, we are in the Yamato cover story. I think this cover story is going to be about Yamato emulating Odin. She'll go around Wano. She'll probably collect some traveling companions. I think one of those traveling companions, if she isn't a stowaway on the Sunny currently, is going to be Carrot. I can see Carrot being the allegory to Nekomamushi and Inugarashi for Yamato, who is Odin in this case. She is the female version of Odin, a female Odin cosplayer, and then Carrot would be a female version of both Nekamamushi and Inagarashi mushed into one. Okay, so I think if she's not a stowaway on the Sunny, it is most likely that she will come across Yamato in her travels around Wano. And I think what this will sort of translate into is Kara sort of ducking and weaving from her responsibilities into ascending to dukedom, which would be kind of funny. So on their travels, I think that they will come across the Fuda Fuda no me, otherwise known as the brush brush fruit and carrot will eat said fruit the reason why and I made a video about this a while ago. The reason why I'm dead set on her eating this fruit is for one reason we kind of have seen that she has funny artistic capabilities in whole cake island so it will be very funny to see constructs made in that style and another reason why is that we have some more information about the brush brush fruit that i did not know about and i've done videos about this and i did not know this was actually the case but in One Piece Magazine, Volume 14, Luffy was drawn using the powers of the Brush Brush Fruit, in which he drew all of the current crewmates at that time, in a similar style to how he drew Nami way back in the day during Arlong Park, or how he drew Frankie back in the day, before he even met Frankie, during Water 7. So, this illustration is a revisit to all that we see frankie looking very much like the sketch that luffy drew back in the day fish nami returns then we have a version of usopp we have a version of zoro sanji chopper brooke and jimbe along with robin and also a piece of meat on the side which is a callback to when Kanjuro made that head of cabbage with his abilities so yeah we know that it could make food and I guess that's the only well drawn thing here <laughs> because Luffy has eaten the meat which is funny in itself but that makes me start to wonder Luffy isn't really depicted with other abilities too often at least not off the top of my head do I recall him ever having any other fruit besides the one that he's known to have in the series right even for special things like an entry in a magazine so it makes me believe that there is a want to have this type of power on the crew full time sort of giving oda his own um heaven's door or rohan kishibe if you are familiar with jojo's bizarre adventure there is a character called rohan kishibe who has a power known as a stand called heaven's door in jojo part four he is a mangaka so he's a manga artist and he is obsessed with drawing things and his ability heaven's door has to power to open people up and he can write commands inside people and then they have to abide by those commands so this in a way is similar to that perhaps oda wants to put a character on the crew who is an artist like himself and will give him an excuse to draw funny doodles in canon all the time. Now, if Carrot were to have this ability, I could see this being very useful as well, because of course, again, one of the nine scabbards, Conjuro, piled around with Odin, and he had this ability since he was a child. So, 
it would kind of match well now with Carrot palling around with Yamato around Wano having this ability. And then two, I think, since we're on a uh, Toon Force kick with Luffy and all of his Gear 5th abilities, it would be a nice callback. And I made a short about this. It should release with this video. It would be funny to see a rabbit with this ability because it's a callback to that one episode that got a sequel back in the day in Looney Tunes in which Bugs Bunny had the ability of the cartoonist and he put Daffy Duck in all these compromising situations and then the sequel to that Elmer Fudd was the cartoonist and he put Bugs Bunny in a bunch of compromising situations so that's super cool and I think if she got the ability it would be a cool homage to that a rabbit with the ability to draw and make funny constructs another thing to point out now from Kanjiro, we know that the drawings themselves can be imbued with special properties. Another thing I think would be very cool for Carrot, if she does indeed get the brush brush fruit, is that she'll be able to activate Sulong, presumably whatever she wants. Because here's what I think could happen. Much like, say, Vegeta in the Saiyan Saga of Dragon Ball, he could do a technique in which he would make an artificial moon out of a key ball, throw up in the air, look at that key ball replicating the uh, blunt wave generated by the moon, and then, being a Saiyan, it turned him into a great ape or an Uzaru, a great monkey. In this case, we know Mink are set up in a very similar way. When they look at a full moon, they activate their Sulong transformation. I think Carrot would be able to literally just draw a moon. It can even be like a cartoon moon, it doesn't matter. Throw it up into the sky and then forcibly activate her Sulong transformation. Now, I think it's very possible that what we have been seeing could change if she does eat this Del fruit because what is also very unique about the brush brush fruit and i made a video on this recently is that i think it's a part of the special paramecia class because it can generate ink that's its main power is generating ink and then set ink has a load of special properties and this is weird but out of all the abilities on that list it was the only one in which you can imbue into like a weapon or something on your person to use it as if it were a brush Kanjiro uses his hair uh carrot could use her tail or her ears or if we're going full baby mode she can finger paint and that's how it can be done as well and on that point this could apply to her gloves or her hands the claws on her gloves or hands could be used like a pen because they sharp object that she can just imbue with ink or seeing as how her fingers and the gloves that she used are covered in fur it would be like using a brush because she's literally covered in hair that can be used to absorb and utilize the ink so there's a lot of ways to approach this with carrot but i think it's the most interesting ability for her based on what she does in whole cake island other than that i think what would be cool as well seeing as how we do have an example of this it'd be funny if she could then draw all the straw hats as like constructs but they would be drawn poorly or drawn in the shoujo art style of what she does in whole cake and it would be like she has a uh, stands of her own constructs of her own that she can use to help her in battle one of the most touching constructs that would be nice to see kind of akin to luffy's red hawk being an homage to ace it would be nice to see her draw pedro because she has drawn him before in the shoujo art style in whole cake so it would be nice if she literally had a pedro stand at the raid to aid her in combat this would also be helpful too and perhaps getting back to the straw hats because the most powerful thing about the brush brush fruit is that it can create transportation so she can create a funny bird or a fish or a boat or what have you and that's how they could get back meeting up with luffy and the gang and with that being said that's all i have for you today happy easter and uh give me your thoughts